Hello, comrades and friends, and welcome to another episode of Brawl Bash. Today, I will be playing Arasta of the Endless Web. Now this is a really janky Brawl Commander uh, right now because uh, there are quite a few spiders in standard, but not enough to make it good, especially considering that spiders, Spider Tribal and EDH isn't all that good either. And that has cards like Ishkana and uh, stuff like that. So essentially the game plan is to hope that your opponents <laughs> are an instant and sorcery spell focused deck so you can get lots of 1-2 uh, spiders with reach. And I also hope that they don't have ways of disrupting that. And then on top of that, you play lots of uh, of the spider cards, like this really creepy one with arms. Like, what the hell? Why does why does she have arms? And then you also run all the tribal cards, like Iconic of Ancestry, uh, the Mono Green Herald of uh, ba Heraldric Banner makes uh, all your spiders get another power, and um, you know, Clothus's design, Overcome. Uh, you should run uh, Andre's Forerunners, but I don't believe I have any, or else I probably would have uh, included them. Uh, you should also run some of the other, like, main staple green cards, it's just... I didn't want to. I wanted to make a... <laughs> I wanted to make a janky-ass Spider Tribal deck. And, yeah, it went terribly, as can be imagined, but it was pretty fun to build, and uh, I like spiders. Um, something about me is I've always kept spiders as, uh, as I've grown up in Australia. Uh, used to keep them in my room, and uh, they'd help keep bugs away, so happy for me. And uh, yeah, so Spider Tribal is one of my few uh, guilty pleasures when it comes to uh, things that don't have blue, black, or red in them. Uh, although in EDH, Ishkana is black green, so I do get to have black in it. Um, and yeah, so I really like spiders. Uh, this deck sort of is crap, but it's fun to play, especially if you're not... You don't expect to win with it. Like, if you're playing fun jank with your mates, then yeah, she's all good, if uh, she'll be great. But if you're like going off into the brawl queue, then you're probably going to be going up against, you know, Golos and Thassa and Corvold and all that disgusting shit. And uh, you might not do so well. Anyway, uh, I'd also like to say I'm very sorry for yesterday's late upload. Um, I have been uploading the video as I've been recording, and it's tanked my my uh, internet, so I'm lagging a bit during the game. But uh, last night, lots of rain came, and uh, typical Australian internet, uh, it just went to shit when that happened, and it didn't upload uh, when it should have. And it failed to upload, so I had to up try and upload it again. Anyway, uh, today I have a couple games with uh, this deck. One showing what happens when the deck actually works, and uh, one that shows what happens when the deck doesn't work, because most of the time it doesn't work. Anyway, I, uh, I thank you very much for watching. Good luck in your Brawl games, and I hope you have a really nice day. Okay. Uh... Vivian's nice, at least. Nah, I might mulligan. Okay, that's also really nice. That is really annoying that the, uh... The land card... The, the land thing. Okay. Well, hopefully we're not gonna hit another really strong deck, because we're playing jank. <laughs> It's not so fun when you're playing jank and everyone's playing, like, not really jank. 
The new Thassa seems really fun though. Alright. Well, they can't swing in with that Sailor. That has flash. Why wouldn't you flash that? Whatever. We're getting so lucky with our mana. That feels good. Uh, green. We're swinging at them for more damage now, so may as well. isn't too concerning, to be honest. He gets good draw power, though. I really like that top decks. No attacks. Very interesting. Ah, they don't have any, uh, counter spells. Well, they can play faster. Be one, two, three, four. Another. Ah, oh, rude. He's now a frog. I could go finale for three. So if they swing at me with the cap, I can double block, and uh, everyone will kill each other. That Thassa will stop being a creature. Oh. It's pretty rude. Okay, well then I'll take it. Rude. 
rude. Man, I'm not even getting my little spiders. That's annoying. I would honestly like to draw a bit more land, though. They can pretty safely play with us at this point. But I think they're waiting to get more counter spells so, they can, so then they can protect her. Which is annoying. To say the least. I'm have to block that soon. Alright, well there's a land. I might get rid of the design. What the hatchery? Oh, it's a 5 7, it can block so well. Alright. That's up. I can search for, uh, four. Which is a good amount of spiders, is four. Okie dokie. I haven't gone up against this yet. Get rid of that. Search for something. Well, that's uh, four. That's enough damage. Block is but soon. They can't pay the one. I'll make a tentacle. Alright, well that's pretty good. Yeah, that, that's a good Kraken, to be honest. Okay, well that's fine, I don't interact too much. Do you want to attack? Maybe they didn't have anything in ha in a the library that they liked. Oh, 
Hildebrand doesn't really help. But, Meteor Golem does. Do I want to get rid of the Dungeon Geist or Caliphae or the Nadir Kraken? Yeah, I think I want to get rid of the Kraken, right? Okay, well, I'll swing in with uh, you and you just to see if they get rid of any. So if they want to get rid of the Renata, they have to trade one of those bigger creatures for it. Okay. And then I'm gonna play the Meteor Golem. I think I get rid of the Kraken, because it's making lots of jump levels. Unfortunately, I only have an undergrowth of one, so that's not very good. Ooh, a Kefas. I got reach. I can block. I might play the hatchery spider just so I can block the kefas then. Kill any of my own creatures first. Okay, I can try with Arasta. They're not gonna bluff her, probably. I could try with Renata. They might trade Kefnet for it. Top one then. Oh well. Alright, well, the spider is big enough that it can block Kefnet forever. But they could top deck. Something really good. Are you gonna reveal it? You're not gonna reveal it to the class? Okay. That's rough. That is so rough. Well. That's Vigilance and Reach.
before I could look for something. Alternatively, I could try and find a uh, creature, but I would only be able to find one. Yeah. Okay, well let's draw a card to see if we draw anything good. Because we still could. Or we could just draw another forest. Okay, uh, this is honestly a bit slow. Well, at least this one has a early game creature, so that's technically a uh, ramp card. Sort of. Gets you to six mana one turn earlier. 1-5 or a 1-4. Oh god. That's gonna get them some quick wins. Oh, 1-5, here we go. be able to win in time. I don't think we will. Yeah, that's an annoying card. What can I do against that? Thing. Well, at least I currently am not under gigantic amounts of pressure. I hate that this has vigilance and haste and death touch. Giving it to me. Right. Well, at least I can do that. Questing Beast is just a massive nuisance right now. So, who will you be untapping? If you are untapping something. Nah, no blocks. Pack me up, then. Alright. 
Let's add some mana creatures. God damn it. Hydra's growth, the recluse, right? <laughs> oh, that thing is getting big. I don't even kill it with my recluse anymore. I literally have to double block it to kill it. What the fuck? Yeah, that gives it plus three. That sort of sucks. That damn questing beast. This is obviously going to be going on the last step. So I get a jump blocker. Very spooky. Rips and grows. 
Okay. Ah, well, screw you. Either. Let's take the damage from the base. So I could go Arachnia and give it one, two, three, four, five. And yeah, so I think I do this. Then I swing in. And I can give something plus five. Max is for blockers, of course. Might up the masses that. So kill the question beast. Okay. Well, that. Gets a little bit of pressure off. I could also kill the Cavalier, but they could put something on top, like the Questing Beast, Gracious Hydra, Renata. Yeah, probably one of those. They so might put down the beast or the hydro. But I can feel the ruin. Uh, we'll do you and you. So well and good, put it on top. And then I feel the ruin away oh, like that. Because I don't want them to be able to blow things up. I get a forest, they shuffle that away. And then I get to play the Iraq now. Oh, 
Oh, I have a blocker at least. Because I will block the evolution stage. Oh, that thing's gotten big already. I can at least give Hitchclaw a loose trample. Become big boy! Let's go! of boys are allowed here. Okay, let's go shed summons. Uh, what could I get that I could cast for five? I could get like an ant spider, I guess. Six mana. Oh no, I have more because we've been druid. Let us go and get rid of the ascendancy. None of that. Thanks. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go with you. Oh. Yay! We win! Finally! <laughs> Yay. So it definitely is a very janky build, and I really wouldn't recommend it to anyone. But when it actually um, gets enough spiders on board to do stuff, it's pretty fun. And uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I thank you very much for watching. Good luck in your Brawl games, and uh, I hope you have a really nice day.